So let me say a couple of words about Norm, for God's sakes. I did feel a closeness to him because he'd been on the show so many times. A couple of times over the years, you remember when Norm was on Saturday Night Live, he used to do this uh, Bob Dole impression, Senator yeah. Bob Dole. And a couple of times I had asked Norm, would you be willing to get in uh, full makeup and come on and be Bob Dole? Because I always thought it was so great, his impression. And it was just funny, and he had funny lines. And Norm said, um, you know, it's a tremendous pain in the ass to get into that Bob Dole makeup. He said, but I love the show, and I love you guys so much, I'll do it. And he would do it, and, and he would come in as Bob Dole, and it was always funny. And over the years, he'd come in, tell stories, and, you know, he's Norm. He's a legend. And I always thought it was a big sin that Norm got fired from Saturday Night Live. Norm was on Saturday Night Live for five seasons. He hosted Weekend Update for three years. Uh, he was great at it, you know, with that deadpan delivery. Here he is delivering a joke doing the, the fake news. And in a related story, this week marked the 5,000th performance of the Broadway musical Cats. It also marked the 5,000th time a guy turned to his wife and said, what the hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> Norm started his career as a stand-up comedian. He appeared on The Letterman Show in 1990. He told me a great story once on the air about his dream was to appear on The Tonight Show before Johnny Carson retired. I went to uh, uh, Los Angeles, California, and Johnny Carson had already announced his uh, retirement. Right. And Johnny Carson, as you know, used to be able to anoint comedians. I said, I'm going to be the last comedian to be anointed by Johnny Carson. Right. So Jim McCauley would come to the show, you know. He's yeah. the talent scout the for the talent Tonight scout. Show, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He goes, listen, you're a J comic. Because Jay Leonard was doing it on Monday night, you know, ah. he was the guest host. Right. So I go, no, no, I think I'm a Johnny comic. That's what all my friends say, you know? <laughs> and uh, he's like, no, Jay. And then he's like, if you do good on Jay, Johnny will watch at home, mm -hmm. you know, which again, even Again, I an audition. It was a lie. I uh, go on uh, The Tonight Show with Jay Leno. I do my set. I destroy. Right. And then I come over and uh, during the commercial, Jay goes, it was all right. Okay. Wait a second. Did you ever get to be on the Carson? Show, I no. never got to meet him. I, I mean, I never got to way, be on his show, and then I got to meet him personally, in person. But I could never say to another radio <laughs> guy, hey, man, that was okay, your show. It was, it was, <laughs> you know what I mean? It, it, like, Jay saying that... It was just a little baby passive-aggressive. Jay being great it. again. <laughs> yeah, it was okay. But then Norm got the gig on Saturday Night Live in 1993. One of the funny things he did was uh, his impression of Burt Reynolds. Here's a little clip to remember Norm on the uh, Celebrity Jeopardy. He's standing there as Burt Reynolds, and he fucking looked like Burt Reynolds. It was crazy. This condiment is made from mustard seeds. <laughs> Burt Reynolds. That's not my name. <laughs> okay. Turd Ferguson. <laughs> yeah, what do you want? Let's see. Chevy Chase posted on Instagram, I first met Norm after he played the newsman on SNL. He was the best of all, next to myself. I know I'm just kidding now because I'm all teared up. But Norm was fired by Saturday Night Live because of this guy named Don Olmeyer. He was president of NBC's West Coast Division, and Olmeyer was friends with O.J. Simpson, and Norm feels he got fired because he was making too many O.J. jokes. In his book, O.J. Simpson says that he would have taken a bullet or stood in front of a train for Nicole. Man, I'm going to tell you, that is some bad luck when the one guy who would have died for you kills you. That's probably... <laughs> <laughs> Great delivery. David Letterman tweeted, In every important way in the world of stand-up, Norm was the best. An opinion shared by me and all peers. Always up to something, never certain, until his matter-of-fact delivery leveled you. I was always delighted by his bizarre mind and earnest gaze. Norm used to do a David Letterman impression on Saturday Night Live. And, you know, it was weird for Norm because, you know, he loves David Letterman, so he didn't want Letterman to take it the wrong way. But, Harold, give me a sample of it. It's a, a great cast. You got, you got Meryl Streep, Diane Keaton. Oh, and you know who I uh, particularly enjoyed in the film was, uh, was uh, Chong. Yeah, he was good. He was very good. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that, Paul? He enjoys Chong. <laughs> 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 but Norm came on our show, and I and I was like, "What happened when you did Letterman?" And he told this great story. I was like, "I don't want to fucking make fun of it because I love uh, David Letterman." Sure. Know? So I'm like, "I'm not. I just I'll just try to do as exact an impression as possible, but not make a comment on it. Like not say, 
you know, not make fun of him. <laughs> you're, you're right. And I, I, so, anyways, <laughs> then he phones me like uh, the next day, and he's like, "I'm talking to him, and he's not bringing it up." You know? Wow. So it goes on for about five minutes where we're talking about nothing. So then I just blurt out, "I go, hey, I did an impression of you last night." <laughs> what are you kidding? Obviously, that's why I was phoning. You know. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So then all he said was, "He goes, oh yeah, you know, no, no." He goes, "I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Uh, it's all right." He goes. Uh, <laughs> He goes, uh, uh, Joe Piscopo did an impression of me once, and I, I didn't care for that because that guy's not funny. But uh, <laughs> great story. I love that Dave it called is. him and didn't say anything. <laughs> and then finally, Norm couldn't take the pressure and blurted out, I did an impression of you. Speaking of impressions, Dana Carvey did an impression of uh, Norm for us. You also do a great Norm Macdonald. Hey, uh, you know, you, you get a Norm. You know, it's a funny thing. You know, water, right? They bring you water here, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, everything is like, you know, it's like a couch here. Yeah, like you want to sleep, right? You want to lay down, right? You're, but you know what? You're not supposed to lay down, right? Uh, you know, but you want to lay down when you see a couch, right? You know I mean? He was a great force. I felt on Saturday Night Live. Totally. And, and he was fired like with no dignity. And 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 the guy who fired him was never like, understood it. Norm's not funny. Norm is fucking funny. Oh, he was. Oh, man, he's just, he's unbelievably funny. Adam Sandler tweeted, every one of us love Norm. Some of the hardest laughs of my life with this man. Most fearless, funny, original guy we knew. Sarah Silverman tweeted, Norm was in a comedy genre of his own. No one like him on the planet. Please do yourself a favor and watch his stuff. He was one of a kind of all time. Um, Norm actually talked to us a little bit about his feelings on death. Whenever I'm talking with someone, I always ask them about death. Ah. Because I'm so freaked out about death. I don't and remember this. So keep in mind that he had already secretly been fighting cancer for four years at this point. I was in Edmonton in this hotel. I was doing stand-up, and my agent phoned me. He said, turn on your, um, your computer, your, look at your Wikipedia. And uh, my Wikipedia said I was dead. Oh, <laughs> great. My Wikipedia said I had overdosed the night before. And I am telling you, Howard, wow. it, it, even though, you, of course, you know it's not true, at first you go, well, I don't know. But uh, it, 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 it shakes you? It shakes you. And you want to know why it shakes you? Why? Because you understand that one day those will be the words. Right. And uh, all it is is they just change the tenses. Instead of Norm Donald is an American comedian, it's Norm Donald was. An Who do you think changed comedian. it? Was it just some Apparently, sort of uh, you know, any, any folks can do can it. Can go on I there mean, and do I mean, I don't that. know who right. makes them in the first place. Do you think about death a lot? I mean, it does. it is a freaky thing. They say most people can't spend more than like a minute or two actually contemplating their own is demise. Is that right? Yeah, I'm, like it's almost impossible for a brain to do that. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. I, you know, I, you know I, I guess that's why you do anything is to, to avoid that, you know? That's right. why you, you do stuff in life. You that's know? right. To avoid that that thought because if uh you know well i mean we don't want to talk about that mm. Mm. so there's norm rest in peace norm conan tweeted conan o'brien of course i am absolutely devastated about norm mcdonald norm had the most unique comedic voice i have ever encountered and he was so relentlessly and uncompromisingly funny i will never laugh that hard again i'm so sad for us all today because you know, I have watched this clip of Conan's show so many times. It was so great. Norm was a guest, and the actress, Courtney Thorne Smith, she was promoting a movie she had done with Carrot Top. Oh, boy. And Norm is, yeah, yeah, exactly. Norm <laughs> just went berserk. Uh, what's the movie going to be called? Well, really? I know what it's going to be called. Yeah, what's that? <laughs> If it's got Carrot Top in it, you know what a good name for it would be? What's that, Norm? Box Office Poison. <laughs> and there's two! There's this movie coming out. Yes. Title undetermined at this point. Chairman of the Board. Oh. All right. Do something with that, you freak. <laughs> <laughs> I, I bet the board is spelled B-O-R-E-D. <laughs> How quick is he? Well, I mean, that's what, you know, another thing that uh, Conan said about him was he was so unpredictable. There right. was an electricity just having him sit there. You just felt it because you didn't know what he was going to do. He was one of the best. He really was. There's no question. And uh, the world really lost a comedy legend yesterday. 